Hi, Patty. The microphone, the microphone. The microphone. Cosa, cosa, cosa. Ajá. Ok. Ja, tenemos ocho minutos. Vaya, dígame. How can I help you? Mm, I help me is a pronunciation. Ah, the pronunciation. All right. Very good. Uh, pronunciation. Hay yes. palabras que sí me cuesta decirlas y que yo siento que no que... Ah, ok. We're, we're going we're gonna to work with that. Ahorita vamos a hacer um, una lista. Aquí lo vamos a hacer. We're going to make a list here. So tell me the word. Tell me the word and I can, and I can, and I can help you. Ok. It's a pies, pies, pies. Yo no puedo decir piezas realmente. No me sale. Ah, Aquí las tengo marcadas en el manual. Perfect, perfect. All right. So you say pieces. Yes. Pieces. Usted lo voy a escribir como lo oigo. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can do it like this. Pieces. Pieces. Ajá, ajá, sí, cabal, así lo oigo. Ah, ok. So, how do you pieces. say piezas de chocolate? Ajá, pero, pero yo realmente no me sale la palabra. Yo me pongo, ¿cómo, cómo será, cómo será? Pero no, no. Pero okay. lo oigo como, cuando usted lo dice, lo oigo como pieces. Ajá, sí, así, es, es que así, así como lo está diciendo. Perfect. Vaya, ahora... Pero cuando ya lo leo, ya no me sale. No sé por qué me pongo. O sea, me pongo nerviosa, no sé. Maybe, maybe. Los nervios. A veces son los nervios. Nerves. Vaya, lo que vamos a hacer es decir pieces of chocolate. Vaya, vamos a intentar decir esa, esa frase. Sería pieces of chocolate. Pieces. Pieces, pieces of chocolate. Ajá, pieces of chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Hay otra palabra que le iba a decir que no me sale. Es, ay, es, po, es tan sencilla y no me sale. Posh, 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 posh. <ríe> ah, ok, ok. P, U, S, H. Push. Ok, push. Es, ajá, o sea, yo sé que allí dice push, pero cuando yo la quiero leer rápido, decir rápido, digo push. No sé si se... Bueno, cuando yo estaba leyendo la, este, la lectura ahora con, con los compañeros, yo ah. ya la había leído en la tarde, ya la había repasado y todo. Ah. Yo estaba segura que decía así, pero cuando ya la leí con ellos, ya no la pude decir así. No sé cómo escribirla, que me suene a mí cómo decirla. Vamos a, le voy a dar una, una, una clave, ¿ok? Uh -huh. eh, cuando nosotros tenemos una frase, una palabra que nos cueste, siempre la vamos a tratar de practicar en una frase, ¿ok? Uh -huh. es la clave que le voy a dar. Por ejemplo, si usted tiene la palabra push, que le cuesta, entonces vamos a hacer esto, push the door, la vamos a tratar de usar con colocaciones, co colocaciones o collocations, son okay. frases que nos pueden servir, frases que acompañan un verbo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. usted dice drink. Drink coffee, drink milk, y podemos tener otras colocations. All right? Yeah. Entonces, usted dice push the door. Push, push the door. Uh -huh. Push the chair. Empujar la silla. Push the chair. Push the chair. Push my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Y push the button. Push the button. Entonces, button. Lo que empieza a hacer es esto. Push the chair. Push my husband. Push the button. Push the door. Push the chair. Push my husband. Push the button. A tratar de repetir la misma palabra en una frase, all right, in a phrase, uh -huh. para que sea más fácil la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, okay. por ejemplo, acá, with pieces. Podríamos decir mm, pieces of cheese. Pieces of, pieces of paper, all right? Entonces uh -huh. empezamos, pieces of paper, pieces of uh, cheese, pieces of chocolate. Eso okay. le va a ayudar muchísimo. Y si puede, okay. grábese, record yourself. Uh -huh. 
Porque si se escucha usted en que se equivocó y usted dice, uh -huh. oh my God, uh -huh. I made a mistake here. Uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. se graba, ok, yeah. pieces of chocolate, pieces of, 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 of cheese. Entonces eso le va a ayudar bastante. Uh -huh. Vaya. Okay, gracias, Anita. Pues sí, another word. ¿Cuál era la otra? La otra era Jesús, María y todos los ángeles. No se me hubiera el tiempo y no encuentro la palabra, ya la tenía marcada. Don't worry, don't worry. Remember, eh... ok. Es so, sonido, so, son, son. Oh, 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 sound. Ese, ajá, ese. Sound. All right, very good. Sound. So, son, sound, sound, como se oye. Ajá. Sound. 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 Ese, uh -huh. ese es otro que sí que, en la, aquí, en el, aquí en lo que he estado leyendo el, el manual, ¿cómo será? Yo, así como, así como lo digo yo, se lo acabo de decir, sound, song. Sound, ajá. Entonces usted dice, sound of music, por ejemplo. Sound. sound of music. Sound, sound, sound of the birds. Sound, sound. of sea. Sound. And like that, sea, sea. Mm -hmm. Ok. Very good. Um, sound of sea, ok. Sound of C, uh -huh. etc., etc., etc. Ok, okay. eso yeah. voy a so, hacer. Esa es la clave. That is the key. Ok, that is eso the key. Eso voy a hacer. Exactly. That's Gracias. what you can do. That's what Gracias, you can Anita. do. Yes, there's, there's no problem. And I'm here to help you. That's very good. I la felicito porque es bien responsable. You are very responsible. Trata de hacer las tareas súper, súper a tiempo. Está temprano. Así que I congratulate you. Esas son las claves de, yeah, they are the good keys of a good student. All right. Gracias. Ok, Patricia, Zúñiga, Patti. Uy, ese okay. mucho saludos a su mamá y a su Ay, papá. Espero you. que eso no lo grabe. Yeah. Thank you very much. Y un saludo también a Ivoncita. Ah, ok. Mucho. Me yes, alegro siempre de verla, cuídense. Yes, Feliz I noche. know, we appreciate you. Bye, bye. Gracias, cuídense. Thank you, bye. Usted se desconecta. Ok. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Abel. The microphone, the, your microphone is mute. Activate the microphone. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay Abel, how can I help you? What, do you have any question? Mm, with a topic. Yeah. Uh, ask me, ask me any question that you want. Maybe it can be from the topic from Monday, the topic from yesterday, the topic from today. All right, there, there are, there are no. Just let me open a, a page. Let me see here. Okay. Okay. Referring to uh, imperative. Ah, imperatives. Uh, what's, what's your question about imperatives? For imperative user on the don't. Mm -hmm. Ah, the negative imperatives. Uh -huh. 
Ah, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. Okay. The negative imperatives, I'm gonna tell you. The negative imperatives are always with don't. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, I remember why. Because you told me no, right? You remember? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You told yes. me no guns. Okay, I'm gonna um, tell you, Abel, this is correct. This is correct, okay? You can say no guns, but this is not an imperative. This is not an imperative. An imperative, a negative imperative will always have don't. don't. Always, okay? Always uh, don't is mandatory, okay? So, for example, if you want to say no port no portes armas en el parque, you say don't don't after don't after the word don't. I'm gonna move this here. Mm -hmm. After the word don't, you need a verb in base form, like this. Mm -hmm. So you say don't carry, and you say the rest of the sentence. And you say, don't carry guns. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Or for example, in your house, imagine your mother. Imagine your mother says, no fumes aquí. It's only an example. All right? Yeah. So how do you say that in English, Abel? That. Mm -hmm. How do you say, English. no fumes aquí? Don't smoke. Smoke. Excellent. Very good. So you say don't. don't. The verb is going to be like this. Smoke. All right. Smoke. And you say aquí. Here. All right. So you say don't smoke here. Clear? Here. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. Now you give me examples. You give me examples and I am going to type examples. Mm -hmm. You have the picture. Ah, ¿va a tomar una foto? Sí. Ok, ok, ok. Nice. ¿Le pongo esta? ¿Le tomo foto a esta? No. No. Ok. Take a picture. Okay. Also, in the, in the student's manual, you have some examples. Mm -hmm. Los imperativos siempre van a comenzar con un verbo. Si son afirmativos. Y si son negativos, van a empezar con don't. Ok. Okay. Yeah, that, that is the, 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 the key. All right. So, for example, you have open the door, open. Okay. Yeah. Take, pay. No tenemos sujeto antes. We don't have a subject before. Empezamos del puro verbo, como cuando estamos dando instrucciones. Por ejemplo, en el champú vienen las instrucciones, right? It says, okay, the champú, open the bottle. Put shampoo on your hand. Put the shampoo on your head. Okay. Massage your head. Put okay. some water. So if you pay attention, the imperatives are for the beginning of the verb. Okay? okay. Aquí están los ejemplos. Sorry, I'm going to erase this. Here are the ex... Uy. Yeah. So here are more examples. All right? Okay. Ahora usted deme unos ejemplos. Affirmative or negative. Whatever you want. Um, I do not remember caminar. How do ah, you caminar. That? Caminar is walk. Uh -huh. Walk. Don't walk in the hospital. Ah, don't walk in the hospital, for example. Mm -hmm. Ah, another one will be, how do you say, no haga ruido? Don't ruido. I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you with that. You say, don't, don't make noise. Make noise. Mm -hmm. Don't make noise yeah, in the hospital. Okay, uh, tell me one, one negative imperative in, for the office, for the office. For the office, for, for example, in my, my work, I don't use a cell phone. Okay, don't. Don't use a cell 
Okay, don't the use cell the cell phone. The cell phone. Okay, very good. Another? Now, let me see. In, in the school. One negative imperative in the school. No, don't. Don't, don't. Ajá, acuérdese, class. siempre, siempre va a comenzar con don't, all right? Uh -huh. Don't uh, speak here in, in class, it's correct. Yeah, excellent. Don't speak Spanish in class. Spanish in class. Yeah, lo felicito ahorita a usted porque you are speaking English to me and that's very good, all right? Because remember that what you, what you want is to speak English. Okay, okay. one more. Is um, another situation. Hmm? Ah, another place. Let me see. A, a restaurant. Uh, in the restaurant, I. Huh? In the restaurant, I don't don't enter a pet. Ah, lo vamos a poner así. Don't. Mm -hmm. No traiga. Don't bring. Traer is bring, okay? Bring. Yeah, so you say, don't bring pets. Pets, okay. Yeah, excellent. Don't bring pets. Uh, mm -hmm. pets. Don't bring pets. Okay. Oh, in the house, for example. Don't mm -hmm. drink beers. <laughs> <laughs> For example, yeah, because in some cases it's possible. Okay, si quiere tome la picture, if you want take a picture. Okay. Now, is it clear, Mabel? Yes. Yeah. Per <laughs> perfect, very good. You can see, you can see the examples on the book. You can see okay. the examples from the, on the manual, right? Mm -hmm. Usted lo tiene impreso o lo mira desde la web? Desde la web. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, so what you can do is you can write. Puede escribir sus ejemplos. You can write on the on the notebook. Mm -hmm. Puede buscar una lista de verbos. Yeah, you can you can okay. search a list of verbs. Y se va familiarizando. For example, traer, portar, carry, sleep, do, etc. Okay? Okay. Well, Abel, nice to have you 10 minutes. I will see you tomorrow in the class, okay? Okay, I see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. bye. See you. See you. Uh, I think, yo creo que usted tiene que terminar la sesión. Yes. Mm, okay, bye. Okay. ¿A dónde lo termino? ¿A dónde dice salir? End. Quiero ver si lo puedo hacer yo. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye.
Okay. In case you didn't, guys, in case you didn't write the answers, I am like uh, putting the answers again. All right. I am typing the answers again. If you watch this video, this video is a session of support and help. Okay. So I am doing this for you. So remember, the first one was separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Here is cocoa, all right? Ground the cocoa beans into powder. Mix the powder with milk. Okay, the next one will be assemble. Remember is double S. Assemble, all right? The next one is form, form, all right, form. That's the next one. The next one is label. Remember label is etiquetar, right? I told you, it can be etiqueta or etiquetar. It can be a verb, label right label and the last one is check check okay very good check so there you have the answers all right there you have the answers of of this exercise you can well you can uh write these answers on your notebooks or you can do it or you can do it here on your manual you can print your manual also all right yeah i'm gonna stop the share of this maybe some of you didn't have clear the imperatives all right we can so well what I showed you is this, this, oh my God, are the imperatives. Well, as we have here, the imperatives are orders. They are used to give instructions, make invitations, all right? Like for example, yeah, in a, in a recipe, in a cooking recipe, this can be very useful, all right? For example, prepare the ingredients. Break, do you remember the first class I told you about omelets? I told you, give me a, a simple process of omelets. So break the eggs, chop the vegetables, uh, tomatoes, onions, etc. Uh, bell pepper. Number three, um, mix the ingredients. Mix the ingredients, add salt, put the omelet. Okay, so if you listen, they are imperatives. The steps that you follow are imperatives, all right? I'm gonna explain again what, a, what an imperative is because uh, one of your classmates, Abel, okay, he asked me about the use of imperatives. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, remember that imperatives, guys, imperatives are, imperatives are orders. And when we use imperatives, we use the base form verb at the beginning, all right? Base form verb at the beginning, for example, open the door, all right? Uh, take an aspirin. 
uh, pay attention, okay, etc. And when you have a negative imperative, you use don't. Yeah, don't and the verb in base form. All right, that's what you do. This is what you do, everybody. Okay, open the door, take, pay attention, etc. Hi, Evit. Hi, teacher. Hi. What are your questions? How can I help you? Um, thank you. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know that is late, but thank you. That means that you are interested. All right. So tell me, how can I help you? Um, it can be a question for today's topic. It can be a question from I'm sorry from yesterday's class. Any question that you have. Uh, the topic uh, today. Ah, all right. W what is your question? Um, there is an imperative. Yeah. Only oh. use the first, well, yeah, beginning only use verb base form. Yes, only Unique. base form. Yeah, it is not possible to use ing. It is not possible to. It is not possible to use verb in past. No, the imperative has to be a verb in ing. Sorry, a base form verb. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Yeah, so it has to be a verb like, for example, open, go, do. Yeah, for example, yeah. Uh, imagine, imagine I give orders to my son uh, and I say, do your homework. Okay, do. Is a verb in present. Mm -hmm. Drink, I'm gonna give you the imperatives I tell him. Drink water. Sleep on your bed, not on my bed. <laughs> only use present. Exactly, you only use present. And we don't need, before, we don't need a subject because the imperative is formed with the verb but without a subject. We don't need a subject. Okay. And yes. for the negative imperative, we're gonna use don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the negative imperative, we're gonna use don't. Don't always use base form. Sorry? Yeah, don't also uses base form. Okay. For example, don't touch, don't play, it's the same. And I was giving, I was giving Abel some examples and I have them here, sorry. Yeah, for example, when you have the negative way, you have this, for example, don't, don't carry guns. Don't carry guns, don't smoke here. Don't walk in the hospital. Don't make noise. So if you pay attention mm -hmm. in the verb, the verb is going to be base form. Verb form, <clears throat> okay. Yeah? Imperative use only verb, verb base form. 
Exactly. Only okay. based on verbs. We don't we don't use verbs in ing. For example, I don't know I don't know if you remember. I don't know if you remember that one of your classmates told me. Oh, I'm sorry. One of your classmates told me don't parking. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. And I yes. said, oh, it's not don't parking because it's not possible to use ing. You say don't park. Don't park here. Como no te parques acá. All right. Okay. So it will be don't park here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let me see what else. Uh, and in the affirmative imperative, I tell you, right? For example, do your homework. Do you have children, Ivit? No. No, I don't I'll, have. But do you have uh, nieces or, or nephews? Niece. Ah, okay. Niece. So you can mm -hmm. tell your niece, uh, do your homework. Play with your toys. For example, play with your toys, not with Marcela's toys. For example, imagine <laughs> she's with another little girl. Okay. And so play with your toys, not with Marcela's toys. So here you are giving an order, an imperative, mm -hmm, a command. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it, try to remember the class, right? In the class, for example, stand up, sit down, come here. They are imperatives. Orders. Yeah, orders. I'm gonna tell you, children in English, when they are be when they are beginning, uh, when they are beginning to learn English, they begin to learn imperatives. Oh, okay. In the schools, it's very common when children are maybe three years old or four years old. Teachers teach with imperatives. Mm -hmm. So, oh, okay. for example, come here, go there, open your mm -hmm. book, close your book, don't speak. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it clear, Evit? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do you have another question? You can ask me another question if you want. Uh, only questions. Oh, that's all. See. Si. Yes. Okay. Very good. So I'm very happy for that. <laughs> all right. And how do you feel in class? Oi. How do you feel in class? Um. Good, 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 excellent. Yeah, good. Do you feel good? Yes, yes. I mean, the activities and everything. Yes, yes. Yes, it's, are you? Is very dynamic. Yes, you know, I I try, I try because remember that we are we are not in a real classroom. We are, we are, a, well, you in your house and all all people in their houses. So it's like more difficult because you can have the instructions. But in this group, I, I can see people like paying attention, participating. Maybe at the beginning it's gonna be difficult because everybody is like trying to adapt to something mm -hmm. new, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But yeah. I like the group and, and I try to, to, you know, to make things uh, dynamic and that you can participate. I, and me, me agradó algo que usted hizo ahora. I, I like something, or yesterday, I think, that you are using the vocabulary you are learning. Oh. For example, you mentioned raw materials. Do you remember? Yes, yes. And that is something good because that means you are learning. And that is something very nice. So I, I congratulate you for that. Thank you. And also you are very responsible. So I uh, that is something that, will help you also all right so okay. if you don't if you don't have more questions i think no more question okay so you can go and have a nice sleep <laughs> thank you teacher okay you can you can finish you have to finish the, the session okay because okay. i have to i have to be here waiting for another student thank you okay bye 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 have a good, good night yeah
Okay, I want to mention something, everybody, and it's a question that someone asked me. And the videos that we watch are here. I'm gonna show you. The videos that we watch every class or extra information that we use in the classes are here, all right? We have some links here, and these are the links I use in my classes. Okay, so if you have any question, or maybe you didn't write something that I show you, it's on your manuals, all right? So for example, here we have some flashcards uh, with vocabulary. You can go to this website and you can access to the material I show you, all right? Also here where it says, watch this video about, about a guide, also everything, everything that I show you, okay? This is from today's class, from yesterday. Would you remember that we watched a video about quality and manufacturing? Okay, this video is on your manuals. The links are, are on your manuals, and you can you can take a look. Okay, on 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 these uh, links, so you can check what we do. Okay. I'm gonna give you some some tips. What you can do, all right, after every class or maybe the next the next morning, is check your your uh, students' book and look for the vocabulary, all right. And you can write them on your notebooks. You can write them on your notebooks. You can have a notebook. This is this is like an an old school strategy, okay. This is like an old school strategy, but it is very, uh, at, the, at the end, it's gonna help you a lot, all right? If you write the vocabulary on your notebooks. Because if you write the vocabulary on your notebooks, you are doing two things. You are learning new vocabulary, and at the same time, you are learning how to spell the words or how to write the words correctly. If you learn to write the words correctly, you will rock, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna go over the the handout. You remember the first class we studied a little bit about words to mark steps on a process, okay? So here we have, for example, first, second, finally, all right? And I gave you others. So do you remember we learned thick layer product, the product that is top seller, uh, ginger. Mm, let me see what else. Uh, bubble gum. We are, we also learned that word. Let me see what else. Some questions that we have to answer. Sometimes we practice uh, in pairs. Here we have the words that we learned in the first class. Do you remember? This exercise was kind of difficult, but at the end we had the answers. Let me see what else. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> this is what we studied yesterday. Remember that when we want to when we want to use these expressions, these expressions you have to learn them by heart. The meaning of that expression is que las tenemos que aprender de memoria. We have to learn them or the expressions by heart. So what you need is, uh -huh, what would you do? What you, I, I will do. Okay, I will have to stop because I have a student waiting for me. Victor, oh my God. Victor, the, the microphone, the microphone. Active el micrófono porque está, está en silencio. Hey, very good. Okay. Victor, uh, well. First, antes que me haga la preguntita, lo quiero felicitar. I want to congratulate you porque se tuvo que esperar todos estos minutos para que lo pudiera atender. 
So, dígame, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Tell me. No, no me preocupe, he estado trabajando. Todo, así que oh, no. really? Sí, ok. Sí. Uh, uh, yesterday, but uh, no, no to the class for the... Ah, ok, perfect, show. perfect. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. Ok, okay let, no. me, let me see if I can access, let me see if I can access to my computer. Let me see, basic five PowerPoints. I will show you the presentation from yesterday. Mm -hmm. I will I will show you the, the most important thing here. Okay. Let me see. Okay, yesterday, Victor, we studied how to use these expressions. Okay. The name of these expressions are what clauses. Así le llamamos, las, las what clauses. Okay. Let's so see. ayer estuvimos estudiando cuatro. We were studying four. Um What we need, lo que necesitamos acá es aprendernos estas frases. We have to learn these expressions by heart. Aprenderse algo de memoria in English is aprenderse algo con el corazón. Se menciona corazón. <laughs> so we have to learn these expressions by heart. All right. For example, the first expression is what you need is. Ok. Estábamos hablando de la creación de productos. Entonces estábamos hablando de como de, de, de dar algunos tips o recommendations. Okay. Yo les ponía el caso para que no les costara mucho el ejemplo de una persona que está estresada. ¿Qué le diríamos o qué consejos le daríamos? Right? So, this, esto es como más la, la estructura, right? So, when you say, what you need is, for example, Imagínese, usted está muy estresado. Entonces, vengo yo y le doy algunos consejos y le digo, ok, Victor, you are stressed. So, what you need is to go to the beach. No. You need to go. I need, I need to the beach. Oh, you, me too. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok, so you say, what you need is to. Todas las expresiones que usted ve acá comienzan con what. All right? El okay. significado de esta es lo que usted necesita es o lo que necesitas es what you need. Aunque empiece con what, no significa que tú necesitas. No, sería lo que tú necesitas. Something no, like es that. Forma de no es en forma de pregunta. No, no es pregunta. No, es una expresión. Ajá. Ah, ajá, ajá. Yes. So, number two. Sí, lo, que mi no. amigo, lo que mi amigo hizo fue, what my friend did was, <coughs> ¿ok? Sí, what my uno, friend, usa, uno asocia la what con pregunta, ¿verdad? Exactly, pero en este caso no. En no, este okay. caso dice, what my friend did was. Uh -huh. Esta uh -huh. es, what I will do is, lo que yo haría es, what I will do is, ¿ok? What I will do is have, what I will do is work. Lo que yo haría es, por ejemplo, yo le dijera, ah, Víctor, lo que yo haría es ir a la playa. What I will do is, pero acá, con esta expresión, no vamos a usar el tú como la usamos acá. Ok, here okay. is, what I will do is, y el verbo de una vez. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí dice, lo que yo haría, what I will do is go to the beach. No vamos a decir to go. Ese to solo lo vamos a usar con esta expresión. Ok, entonces no ocupa el verbo. No, aquí no se ocupa el to. El to. Ah, perdón, ah, aquí sí eh, se ocupa el to, pero aquí to. no. Ok. Y aquí. Teacher, una yes? cosa, no miro nada. No eh, mira. No. Oh my God. Espéreme. Todo un puntito rojo. ¿Y ahorita? Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Va, si quiere, tómale una foto. Take a picture. Take, take a picture. Uh -huh. Yo lo miro el puntito rojo y decía. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. Ok. Ok, so here, 
Y ahora sí mira el puntito rojo con las oraciones. Hoy sí. Vale, entonces acá es what you need is. Y aquí vamos a usar el to. Ok. Here. What my friend did was. What my friend did was. Lo que mi amigo hizo fue. Y el verbo que sigue en forma. Su forma base, pero no vamos a usar el to. Ok. En, en la, cuando nos refiramos a la segunda persona, no se ocupa el to. No. Uh -huh. okay. What, my, what friend, my friend. What my brother, por ejemplo. Exactly, exactly. Mira lo. What my brother did was. Ir a la. ¿Cómo diría eso en inglés? Lo what? que mi hermano hizo fue ir a la playa. Ajá. Uh -huh. What my brother did was. The... Get to, go, to, play, oh, to the go, beach. Go, go. Go, go, to, go, go to the beach. Go to the beach. Very good. Muy bien. Very good. Ok. Yes. La, ter la tercera sería, what I will do, lo que yo haría. What I will do what is. I, I will do is. What I, I will do, do is. Is have. Have a cup of coffee. Uh, ok. Have a. Uh, Yes. Frozen. Oh, yeah. What I will do is have frozen. Aquí tampoco vamos a usar el to. We're not going to use to. So it's what I will do is have, what I will do is go, what I will do is work, etc. En español significa lo que yo haría. Exactly. What I do. What I will do. Will do. Will do. I will do. I will do. What I will do. Is. What I will do is, okay, have a process, have a, um, yeah, a siesta. A nap. Ah, a what nap. I will do is take a nap. Ah, take a nap, ajá. Uh -huh. Estos solo son ejemplos, pero usted puede usar el verbo que usted quiera. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the last one is, lo que yo estoy diciendo es, what I'm saying is. Okay, what I am saying is, is That is, that is product is good. Excellent, very good, excellent, very uh, good. What I'm saying is that this product is good. Okay, is it clear? Okay, yeah. Yes, okay, uh, you can work. Puedes, puedes tra uh, ya hizo la tarea número dos de, de la plataforma, no. no. Estoy atrasado en eso. Ah, vaya, trátela de hacer, porque fíjense que al final de la semana tengo que sacar una nota, all right? Oh, okay. Uh, teacher, what in, in the... Plata, en la plataforma salen como cuestiones así como tarea, o sea, como pequeños exa, examencitos. Exacto, entonces esas tareas son las que usted tiene que hacer. Uh -huh. Ajá, yo ya hice la primera. Ah, ya. La segunda que... es, es de lo que le acabo de explicar. Ah, ah, okay. La tercera es lo de que vimos de la clase de ahora. Uh -huh. Ajá, y entonces hay que ver los videos también, ¿verdad? Esos videos que están ahí son las clases. Ah, 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 ah. reforzar sí. un poquito puede darle clic al video que está ahí, por ejemplo en videoconferencia 2, le da clic y ahí está la clase de ayer a la que usted no pudo asistir, esa es la ah, ventaja ajá. no sí, se perdería ya, mucho sí, yo hice la, acabar, hice la primera el primer, el, lo que sale la primera prueba que sale ahí y lo hice, me saqué como tres vea, creo Ah, ok. They, they were, they were five, five sentences. Ajá, five, ajá. Y, mm -hmm. Pero me quedé en la segunda, en la segunda ya no la hice porque me entré una duda de cómo sería la, la estructura. Ah, la, ah ok. La, But la, it is with this explanation. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Sí, ahí me quedé con esa duda, entonces ya, ya no la hice. Le voy a preguntar a la, a la profesora ah, mañana. Ah, ok, ok. But is it clear? Yes. Ah, ok, ok. Very good, Victor. Okay. okay. Well, so uh, we finish. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. It's very good. Uh, uh, tomorrow is yes, a uh, 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 do I do the the homework. Ah, okay. Please okay. do it. Okay. So have a nice sleep and have a nice rest. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. bye.
we are done.